The Chicago Bears signed Nate Davis to a three-year $30 million deal with $19 million guaranteed, and I think this is a great move to secure their offensive line for Justin Fields. Nate Davis had his season shortened by injury in 2022, but he played over a thousand snaps in 2021 and 2020, and when he's been on the field, he's been a B-plus run blocker and a B-minus pass protector. And for an outside zone running scheme, Nate Davis is the perfect guard. He's an excellent reach blocker. He's really explosive out of his stance and he has great hand placement that he's improved over the past four years. And then he also accelerates really quickly to the second level. He has great vision and body control to locate and secure those blocks. And if you look at the Bears running game, they run a lot of pin pull, a lot of tosses and sweeps where they're getting their offensive linemen out on the move and taking advantage of their athleticism. Now they've got Tevin Jenkins, Braxton Jones, whichever spot he ends up and Nate Davis. And this rushing attack has a chance to become even more dynamic. And pass protection was a weakness for him early in his career, but he really improved over the second half of 2021. And then in 2022, he only allowed 14 pressures and he had his highest PFF pass blocking grade of his career. His first few seasons, he gave up pressure when he would get off balance and he would lower his head into contact and forget to mirror his feet with the rest of his body. But over the second half of his rookie contract, he really improved his footwork and he also improved his awareness and recognition on stunts and twists. So going forward, I project Nate Davis to be a really solid pass protector. Overall, $10 million a year is a bargain for a starting guard that can protect Justin Fields and add an element to their running game. So I give the Nate Davis signing for Chicago an A. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL free agents that you'd like me to cover.